more. This is my journey through Jim. So, what we're going to talk about today is um, Congress passed a COVID relief um, uh, bill, but of course now it has to go to the Senate before anything uh, real comes of it. Um, the some key points of that bill are there's a, a $1,400 stimulus that's not expected. Well, I wouldn't say it's not expected to make the cut, but it's the, one of the, of course, the big challenge to the cut, as we're all aware. Now, the minimum wage increase to $15 per hour, that's not expected to make it through at all. Extension of unemployment relief that's ending soon, I think August or the end of March. And then $350 billion of this bill goes to states, cities, territories, and tribal governments related to the pandemic. Additional funding for vaccine distribution and testing is in there. And then housing aid and money for schools. And I should mention that some of the um, uh, two of the Dems that were opposed to this in the, in the House were uh, Oregon's Kurt Schrader uh, and then Maine's Jared Golden. So what's up with them? Get with the group. Guys. So I decided to use the Connolly Tarot for this uh, for this draw. I had plans uh, of using the New Paladini, uh, but um, I used that for a previous draw just now, and it seems like this is a good idea um, for this Connolly Tarot. They're in the same gentle spirit, uh, in my opinion, as the Paladini uh, decks. So I'm going to do a little shuffle. I can show you these cards. Why, why wouldn't I want to do that? So you can see they're also really clear, colorful, beautiful illustrations of um, of these cards. I mean, I, I really just am taken with so many of these cards. Some of them, uh, when you pull them out of the deck, they these not necessarily, but some look like photographs or art, or art that you would find in a museum. And indeed, most of these cards that you'll find are, uh, you know, conjured up by true, wonderful artists. They may not be famous, but then so many of the artists that we hold in esteem today didn't have any fame when they were actually alive. So we'll shuffle these up. And all oh, these shuffle really nicely, but you know, I use these a little bit. And what I found, of course, is that as you use cards, they become limber. And um, it all, for me, has to do with the uh, friction and the air, uh, just the static electricity that you have in the cards. And of course, all the shuffling helps to disturb that, move it around, reorder uh, how these cards kind of relate to each other um, that way. So usually, if, you know, I've, I've heard and I've uh, read that seven shuffles for these amount of cards is what gets them pretty thoroughly mixed. Um, but I do like to just kind of play it off the cuff. And I will say that I'll err on the side of more shuffling than less because I think that just gives the cards a chance to find their way to where they want to be. So we'll, we'll put them up here and we'll do six cards right off the bat for this Senate decision on this huge COVID relief that uh, they're going to have to make a decision on. Put these back together because we're going to use them in a moment to finish this Celtic cross. We'll leave them right there and here we go. And we're going to jump right into this, a signifier card for the Senate uh, regarding uh, their decision on this uh, COVID relief. Ah, let's see how it goes. The signifier for this draw is justice. You know, what more can we say? Um, hopefully we'll find justice. And, and justice is, um, I don't know that justice is a matter of finding a true balance. I think it's a matter of finding a balance in, in, in the situation, according to the rules and the laws of the governing body party that we're talking about, which of course is the United States government. So this is for the Senate, uh, in this regard, justice. This is going to be challenged by the sun. The sun speaks to us of bringing everything out into the open where it can be seen clearly. And these cherubs are lovely. They've got uh, pentacles, they've got cups, they've got wands. And this little fella here, I guess he's going to represent the air or swords. He's bringing forth some beautiful roses into the picture. So their challenge, justice's challenge, is the sun. The base of this reading, which is what's going to influence the overall tone of what we're thinking about here, is the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is action, getting things done, moving along, having a plan and bring it to fruition. Um, 
this uh, queen of, of, of wands is often often accompanied by this black cat who is uh, I won't say it's um, uh, patience or or um, intuition or the, the the little voice that speaks to you over his shoulder but this black cat certainly is looking out for the um, benefit of its queen queen of wands is the base of this reading so we're saying action making something happen in a very big way as it's the queen is what's the base of this reading now the past in this reading is going to be the five six seven of cups one two three four five six and seven right there and the seven of cups talks to us about you know have we done enough to make this fruitful have we brought our crop in and in the past uh, that's what we've wondered and it's just come out of the house the house has got something in this bill that uh, the, the Republicans who like to chop up these bills can toss out and being the $15 uh, an hour um, uh, for the country the minimum wage but um, so the past here then is the seven of cups have I done enough have I done enough the sky in this reading is in transition and transition speaks to us of this is typically death in the in other tarot cards, but this is a gentler, kinder tarot, this Connolly. And so they're just talking about the transition from one thing to another, from a darkness to a light, okay, from having to maybe giving. Um, so this uh, little uh, cherub here, this child is holding a lovely bowl here of fresh water. And I would guess that that's so this person can, can even bless themselves as they go out into the light. And, uh, and it looks like they may have even been a religious figure, certainly uh, a royal figure here. So in the sky is transition. Is this going to be what helps the Senate and the GOP start their transition? Don't know. The future for this reading is then the Three of Swords. This Three of Swords is 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 up in the sky and we got two down and one up and you know I've got to tell you it, my mind has come to a blank as to the typical meaning of a three of swords I'm gonna give it a minute to shuffle through my brain and it's not gonna come clear so I'm gonna go ahead and cheat I'm gonna use my pictorial key of the tarot and I know as soon as I see a picture of that typical three of swords it's gonna come right to me uh, what I should do and what I should know about this card and uh, there it is. This is the knight. This is the um, page. We're going to keep going down until we find the three. And where is he? He's right almost here. Oh, of course, he's a broken heart. Well, no wonder I didn't want to see it. So the three of swords then speaks to us of, of really loss and, um, you know, a broken heart. A broken heart. So let's see how this works out. This this happens, usually the Three of Swords shows these three swords really stabbing through and causing some grief. And at least this one shows coming up with some bit of hope in the middle here. So that's the Three of Swords. So we're going to go ahead and get the last four cards for this draw, which is the self of the Senate right now. Remember, they're all stewing, you would imagine, uh, over what's going to happen when this comes to them. And right now, we're talking about the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles is one to hold on to what you've got. You don't want to let it go. Um, it's up in the sky. It's trying to get away, but this fella has got a solid uh, two of his uh, pieces of val value, the pentacles, under his feet, and these two may be a little more tenuous. So what does that tell us uh, of the self of the Senate right now? You know, you have to use your intuition. It's not just me. If you were here with me, we'd have a discussion. We'd uh, get our emotions out onto the table, and we'd have an exchange of emotions to help determine these cards. So here I'm doing it with kind of one hand tied behind my back. So you have to help me also in this. The self of the Senate right now is the Four of Pentacles holding on to what you got. The environment that it's in is the Queen of Cups. And the environment certainly is the Queen of Cups. The Queen comes to us with a cup full of understanding and emotion and, and passion. And look at what a passionate card this is. She's holding on to a book. You presume there's some knowledge in there. She's ready to you know, lift that cup up. And uh, that's the environment that this is in. A queen of passion. A queen of passion. So there are a significant number of people who do get the importance of getting this done. The hopes and the fears then is the nine of wands. And the nine of wands speaks to us about you know, a, a 
lot of stuff that needs to get done, as a matter of fact. And uh, this knight is up to the task, but he's a bit outside of the border. You know, he's just going to have to step through and bring these through as he sees fit. So the hopes and the fears is um, this nine of wands movement, making things happen. The, uh, the hopes is that they can get everything done, and the fear is that they have to leave something behind. And then the final outcome for this, the Senate, is the Page of Cups. And this is a weak offering to the court. The Page of Cups always brings with him a surprise. A lot of times you'll find this fish jumping out of the cup in this Page of Cups cards and other decks. But in this uh, respect, the fish is already out of the cup and he's in the water. And I wonder if that's not that $15 minimum wage that I believe the Democrats may have put in the bill as a sacrifice, knowing that that has to go, or giving the, the uh, GOP something to toss out and uh, feel useful about. But uh, the final outcome in this one is the Page of Cups. So, you know, that's, that's the best I can do with this determination. Put your mind into it. You know, let me know what you think about it. Make a comment, and, and let's see how this goes for you. You know, we started out in this reading with, reading with the Signifier of Justice and then the Challenge of the Sun. And I think those are wonderful cards to start out with because you want justice to be your guiding light. And if the sun shines light on what's going to happen, you hope that uh, something truthful can come out of it. it. Hasn't really. My name's Mark. This is my journey through tarot. I really appreciate that you came along with me. I hope you'll come back again. <music>